my thinking always used to be just win the fight, just win the fight. And then obviously as you win the fight, it opens doors to other things. I was seeing my, my pay packet getting bigger, my profile getting bigger. So just win the fight. If you're doing all right, just, just win it, just see it out. But because of all this hype what was going on around me, I just fucking wanted to smash it. So I'm chasing this geezer around ring, bang. By, by about halfway through, I'm pissing the fight. I'm on everybody's, I'm up on everybody's cards, on the judges' cards, but he don't want to know. He just wants to see final bell. I'm exhausted fucking physically and mentally because I'm fucking frustrated because he's like, he's just backpedaling. He's not trying to engage in a fight. He's not trying to win it. He just wants to see final bell. And I'm running forward fucking wild, but it's taking a lot of it out of me because I'm not setting up punches. I'm not setting out knockout punches. I'm just fucking putting absolute everything to every punch. By 12th round, I've won fight fucking on all judges' score, scorecards, but I'm fucked. I'm absolutely fucked. And then I get roasted on social media, absolutely roasted by pundits, by side of Ray. Josh Warrington wants to be in world level, not on that not on that performance. He needs to do a lot better. I just don't think he's got it. Don't think he'd get there. And I think the next few fights will be they'll be shown and all of a sudden. Fucking hell, James, I didn't know how to deal with that. Confident like you said identity. like you said before, and I'm not media trained. You know, I don't, I don't fucking know how to talk to these people and how to respond to that. How are you doing these interviews? Do you think you found your limit, Josh? What the fuck do you say to that? No, no, I'm just a bad day at office and they're, they're trying to catch you out in certain interviews. All of a sudden, I'm fucking going back to my hotel room and fucking, Josh, what a, what a cunt he is, fucking embarrassment, that was shite, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I can't fucking handle all this shit. Mm -hmm. No, I'm used to people coming up to you in the street and like, if they call you a cunt, you're like, fucking what, mate? Yeah. All of a sudden... Yeah. You've got people you never, you've never met in your life calling you a, this and other, so you're responding. And that fucking, I couldn't handle it. So I've took myself away, went on holiday, me and missus had a nice holiday. I've come back, I'm thinking it's all been forgot about. Anytime I put a tweet out or a post out, it's still there, bam, people are hamming mm -hmm. in me. You think, fucking hell. Now, you know, in this day and age, social media is fucking... To those older listeners, I would probably think, what's it all about? You could just ignore yeah. it, but... Social media is a big platform, certainly to, to speaking to your fans and to, to promoting yourself. So you can't help not see that. You used to read that a lot. And I remember thinking, fucking hell. So I went over to, um, my manager started a meeting out with Ricky Atten. And uh, we sat down with Ricky. I'm like, fucking hell, Ricky, you were similar to myself, you know, I come through fucking small halls and all that. You built a big following. How did you go cope with fucking all the, the pressure of, you know, critics and that? He said, listen, it was a little bit different from my day. He said, uh, you know, we just had the papers and journals and you'd be able to speak to them just on phone. But he said, listen, I still get it now. So I was a bit surprised by that. He said, mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean, Ricky? He said, fucking hell, you're, a, you're an household legend. How do you still get, you know, shit on, on social media? Everyone loves you. He said, listen, Josh, it gets to fucking centre three. Yeah, I might put a tweet out about Man City. He says, people turn around and say to me, you fucking should have slit your, fist, your, uh, your wrist while you had a chat. You, fans, you fat bastard. He says, I always get it, you know, fucking people up and down. He says, but why the fuck do you give, why do you give so much uh, attention and why do you give a fuck about what Dave, the fucking Sparky says, who can't get a fuck off his missus, who hasn't done never anything in his, in his life. Why are you getting worked up about that? And I, I kind of thought, it started looking at that from a different light, like, he's right. Why am I getting so worked up about these fucking people? And I kind of just started working up from there, building a bit of a thicker skin, seeing it for what it is, just their, you know, fucking messages on the screen. And uh, the next few fights, I'd worked on really keeping my concentration. And uh, I pulled out some very, very big performances. 